Hi there, RC Girl here. Today I'm going to be talking about the vintage B3 Team Associated buggy that I've been upgrading to brushless. Um, I just recently painted the body with some cool flames using a paint mask, and that's my latest upgrade. But I've been having an issue with my servo not functioning correctly. It's been running at half of the voltage. So it looks to me that the BEC, or the voltage regulator inside the ESC, has been malfunctioning. So today I'm gonna to be talking about installing a BEC. This BEC can control the voltage at either five volts or six volts. So I'm gonna show you how to install this. So as an example, um, I've already installed a BEC in the Basher Sabertooth Truggy. Just repainted this body, so that'll probably be in another video. So another great thing about a UBEC is that you can pull higher amps and run more devices from it. Um, I just installed two fans and a heatsink on the motor, which has been running a little bit hot. I'm also powering a fan on the ESC, and I just got a super cool high-speed servo um, that can run at 7.4 volts. So um, it's that's been it's been really good. So now I'll show you how to install this in the B3 buggy. So right now I'm running a, a two-cell battery, and it's uh, run at 7.4 volts, which is directed to the BSC, which brings the voltage down to 4.8. Sends it to the receiver and the servo. So a little bit about servos. You want to make sure you check the operating voltage. This one is uh, operates at 4.8 to 6.0 volts. Um, and this ESC is currently putting out, well, if when it's functioning correctly, 4.8. But I've been intermittently getting it at 2.4 volts. So. Um, the servo can actually handle higher. When I install the BEC, we'll get a higher turning speed because the voltage is higher. Okay, so let's get to installing our UBEC. This one I found on Amazon. I think it was about $5. Amazon Prime, it came in two days, perfect. Um, you can also find these at a hobby store. I'm sure they'll be a lot more expensive than that. This UBEC is rated to five or six volts. To switch between those is just you take this little pin out. The top two pins are functioning at five volts. The bottom will be your six volts. And I'm gonna want the six volts. So I'm gonna take out my battery. And it looks like I'm gonna install the UBEC next to here. So it's away from the heat of the ESC. So you're gonna wanna solder these into your battery connector. So your first step is removing the heat shrink, so get a, an X-Acto blade, make a really shallow cut just to get this off. You want to remove your uh, cables and you're going to be careful with the soldering iron because it gets really hot, just touch it to the cable. Once you see it um, heat up, pull the wire away, you don't want to melt your connector, which I've done before. So. So then now that we have this disconnected, we're going to solder in our UBEC, obviously the red to the red, black to the black. Put your heat shrink over these and get the heat shrink out of the way because you don't want that to shrink at the beginning. Okay, so we'll do one at a time. So this isn't my favorite part, but <laughs> if you don't have one of these, uh, use a friend or someone else that can help you out or you can do it yourself, but I have this. So you're gonna have this one on the bottom, slide it in and re-solder it. So now we're gonna do our red end. Yep, everything's in pretty solid. So then you bring your heat shrink up and get your heat gun. Shrink that right up. Now that we've soldered in our BEC into our battery connector, we're gonna wanna bypass our existing BEC inside the ESC. So let's trace these wires back here into our receiver. I've already unplugged some of them. But for now, um, 
just disregard the signal wire and we're gonna wanna remove these two, which are coming from our, our existing BEC and reroute those with our external one. So we can put these aside for now if you ever wanna reuse them in the future. I'll probably just heat shrink these to the side, keep them out of the way. And then we're gonna to wanna to, um, unclip our signal wire, the white one. And we're gonna to wanna to reroute this into our external BEC clip. This is gonna go into our receiver. Plug that in. Okay, now that we have everything connected, we're gonna plug in our battery and, and check to make sure that everything's working properly. Since you did route your UBC directly into your battery, right when you plug in your battery, it should power up. Okay, looks like that's powered up. We have power to our UBC and our receiver, and then we also have to turn on our ESC off the switch. All right, so far so good. Turn on our receiver or our radio. Okay, great, we have power to our servo. It seems to be a lot faster than before. And we're getting power to our motor. Our servo should now be receiving six volts from our UBEC. And that's how you install a voltage regulator outside <laughs> and I'm in the middle of a move so I'll just run it around the house real quick but it looks to be like everything's working perfectly and I'll do a longer video of uh, bashing a little buggy around. Oops! Crap everywhere. Um, we'll be three buggy up and running again. Thanks.